Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Eador, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord Difficulty. For this part I have uh, two plans and um, it depends entirely on the RNG which, I, which plan I'm gonna use. Because it uh, all depends on uh, what we're gonna get uh, as a level up uh, after the next fight. If we get command that will uh, that would unlock these two slots and in that case uh, it's worth going back to the capital, grabbing two new units, and then I wouldn't go straight bat back. I would uh, uh, attack this province, and uh, I want to check what's here, because it looks like there are swamps, and I wouldn't mind having another uh, swampy province in the third ring that uh, I would be, uh, I would explore after I'm done here. So, that's... Uh, uh, plan A and plan B, if I don't get command, I'll just stay here and fight as much as possible. So, let's see what's gonna happen. And one more thing, uh, I was thinking about what to do with my gold, which buildings to build, and I don't think there is anything we really need now. So, I decided to actually go for a third hero, that um, is probably the best thing now to speed the exploration even further. Maybe explore two provinces at a time. So I'll save uh, 1350 gold and then recreate the hero unless um, you know I really need it for something else like if if Dario uh, gets to us then I'd probably have to hire guards or something but uh, yeah if uh, nothing like that happens the third hero uh, will be will be the thing I'm going to go after but for now we have some targets. I want to try these demonologists first. Uh, those can be quite risky if there are demons. So let's have a look. And I wanted to build a pop here actually. Okay, so this is all before I end the turn I think. Yes, so we can go now. Come on. Fiend, Hellhound, Shaman, Sorcerer, Succubus. Okay, no demons, and these are actually tier 2 demonologists, so that makes it much easier. And I think you can do this without problems, so let's attack. This really makes it much easier. What about positioning? Uh, maybe you are better. Um, there, something like this. Stronger units are in front in case I have to take a hit from an imp or something. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. I think I'm gonna move forward with the hero. Like that, I'm in the range of the shaman, and I hope I'm gonna be able to kill him. Perfect, so that's uh, one unit I don't have to worry about. And now, hopefully, at least those imps will attack uh, the hero. And... Same is for the succubus, now when the hero is closer. Hopefully he will take all those hits and I'm not gonna take any damage. Uh, my crossbows. Maybe what I can do is actually move a bit closer. Okay. I think this looks good. Fine. Hero is taking the damage. Vulnerability for the hero. That's fine. And can I kill these two? Perfect. One down. Uh, what about this one? Oh, that worked as well. Nice. So that means I can do some damage to the Hellhound. Just now, uh, high priority. He moves really fast, even though he's gonna be slowed by those swamps. Still, I uh, need to make sure that he's gonna uh, die before he gets to me. And he will need uh, quite a few shots. And the hero can start working on the succubus. 
But I think I'll have to take a hit. Hopefully it's gonna be for the hero. But even if she attacks my crossbows, they should be able to survive. So let's see. Oh vulnerability there. And what she's gonna do. Of course, attack there now. Well, eight points of damage. I would rather avoid that, but it's not the end of the world. Uh first let's make sure that uh, this thing is gonna die. You can shoot. Uh, anyone else in range of that uh, succubus? Of course not. It's a bit unfortunate. Oh, the hero can one shot it. Perfect, perfect. I thought I'll need two hits there. So I can kill both of them. And, uh, and turn. Now, let's kill the sorcerer. And I should be able to kill the fiend easily. Let's just uh, try to get the last hit of the hero. Two, three, four. Good. So, uh, we only took uh, one hit uh, with crossbows, and it's nothing we can heal with the chalice. And um, let's see what we're gonna get as a level up for the hero. I really want to get uh, the command, so fingers crossed. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Uh, so, that means uh, plan A, going back to the capital for a new unit. And two extra crossbows that actually increases the strength of the army quite a bit. And what else do we have? Offensive tactics and uh, terrain knowledge. A reaction. Straw resistance and range defense for the hero. Or... Boost for the whole army, basically. But I think I want higher initiative at this point because I notice that often we go second in the fights where I want to go first. So uh, some extra initiative could be useful, and some you know minor boost to the defenses of the hero. Uh, it's never bad. I think I'll take reaction. Good. And anything else? Here we have uh, definitely hit points. We already have seven bolts, so hit points. And anything interesting here? Fireball and light boots. Uh, that's crap. Well, something we can sell. Okay. Uh, nothing new, so keep exploring. Uh, but I think before I leave, I will actually kill these trolls. We don't have that many targets, so I can't afford, you know, to leave uh, a location that's uh, doable uh, just uh, just here and you know leave uh, some experience I can get. So let's do that first. And also uh, from these fights with the tier three units, there is a decent chance to get. Uh, Surprisingly good items, and we definitely could use an upgrade for our ranged weapon. The Nomad Bow is uh, quite obsolete at this point, and I wouldn't mind getting something like maybe a Ethereal Crossbow, that would be ideal. So every fight that gives me a chance to get something like that is worth doing. Anything interesting here? Fair Wind. Uh, that you'll need later. Okay, so I'll just keep going. Two trolls, sure. I think we can. I think we can easily kill more than two. Like four shouldn't be a problem. But this will give us an idea how how uh, bad it will be, or how easy it will be. We'll see. Um, here I think I'll move down. Hero can move closer and start shooting. Okay, you will keep moving. You'll keep moving. These guys can do some damage, so let's do it. You should be in range as well, and the hero can shoot. 
but uh, well, these guys can actually take quite a few shots so maybe a four as I said that you should, would be able to do four it's not uh, wouldn't be that easy but we also had to move like half of the army uh, now it should be much faster uh, let's focus on this guy a bit Okay, you can kill him, and uh, this should be fine. I'll even try to get the last hit for the hero. And once they got in the range of more units, they went down much faster. Good. 70 gold, so what about some interesting loot? Hmm, this would be interesting loot for a warrior, maybe. Well, actually not even that. So, nothing but extra experience. And we found something else, so maybe we'll stay for a bit longer. Depends on what, what that's gonna be. Uh, and the fire in the sawmill. Put out the fire. Workers will escape by themselves as usual. And here, elves are complaining about their tough working conditions. Who cares? I definitely don't want to, to invest 120 gold into this, so let's just uh, hang those who initiate, initiated the petition. Uh, this will probably increase the uh, the uh, or decrease the population mood, but whatever. I'm not investing anything into else. Actually, just one level. That should be fine. Maybe how does it look like? Uh, do we have extravaganza? Still seven turns. I'll probably just use it here next time and I'll be fine. Okay. What's the new target? Medusas. Is it worth doing? Or this is the same as trolls. Again, tier three units. This could be a bit uh, more difficult because they're faster, but their range defense is quite low. So. I think this is what we're doing. This is another chance for a good item and decent amount of experience. So I will delay the departure for one extra turn. If that was something like, I don't know, bandits, I would probably just leave. But uh, this is what we're doing, definitely. We also can use the Chalice of Life now. And that's all we can do for now. So let's end the turn. Two of them. And let's attack. This is also going to give me an idea how hard Medusas will be. So if I see some armies with Medusas in the future, it will be easier for me to say uh, if it's doable or not, or how hard it's going to be. Okay, here maybe I will move like this, so the hero can stand on the hill, or actually, now let's stay here and maybe I'll move a crossbowman on the hill. And the hero has a hill here, right, so that should be okay. Oh, uh, they're all the way up there. If I move closer, 2, 4, 6, they'll be still out of range. These guys can move. And this guy can move as well. And move on the hill. But I'm not gonna use this hill because that would get me closer to them and that's something I don't want. Okay, and let's see what they're gonna do. How many shots I have? Two. I think the debuff from the hero will help. Okay, you can shoot as well. And one is almost down. That's not bad. Now we'll probably get petrified. No, not even that. Hmm. 
Huh. Can I kill both of them now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shots? Okay, let's uh, make sure that uh, we're gonna kill her. I think if I attack first with the hero, apply the debuff, six more attacks will be enough then to kill her. At least I hope. Well, if not, then uh, it will be only damage for the hero, so it should be fine. And yeah, we have to be able to do 37 damage. Come on. Yep. So it wasn't that bad. That was actually quite easy. That's good to know. I usually um, am trying to avoid Medusas because they hit really hard and have a strong poison. So... Uh, maybe I would avoid some fights that are actually doable. And it's good to know that they, are, they go down really fast. Now here we have uh, a resistance amulet. Okay, I'll keep that. Another resistance boost uh, in case we need it. Some cash and anything interesting. Some gear upgrade would be awesome. Nope. Battle polex. That's a warrior weapon. Never mind. Mm, nothing else. Okay. And what's this? Uh, send people from neighboring provinces. Oh, two turns and the population mood here went down really significantly. Well, can I handle this still? I really don't have that many options anymore. I'll just try it with extravagance, worst case scenario. Actually, the forest spirits are not bad. They're, they should be able to handle uh, rebellion in this province. So I don't think I have to worry about this too much. Okay, now go back with the fair wind, of course. So I don't want to waste three turns going back. Uh, you'll keep exploring. Hopefully, we'll get some more targets here before we get the back there. And end the turn. 1100 to gold. Get 250 more for a third hero. And of course, right after we left, we are getting more targets. Mages Tower. And that's all. What is this? Battle Mages. I'd probably do it, but. Yeah. Never mind. Now when we are in the capital, let's uh, stick to the plan. Grab uh, two more crossbows. Good. And now... Let's check stores. What can we sell? One, two, three, four, five. Repair the gear, and what I'll do I'll actually swap arrows because in the next fight, I think the extra damage could be important. And now I'm going after these elves, so I think that uh, damage armor debuff is not that important. I just want to uh, do a little bit more damage with every with every arrow. Also, we can use Illusionary Battle now, so let's do it. Maybe that will give us some more level ups. Uh, ranged Attack, definitely. Ranged Attack for you as well, more hit points. Uh, resistance for you, that's a lot of level ups. Hmm, what about this one? Oh, stamina. Uh, morale here. Well, started really good. Those last two were were uh, not as good as the first two, but yeah, it was a lot of level ups there. So next, attack these elves. I'm gonna leave this province that we lost in the previous part to uh, to that event because. Uh, if I attack this province first, then I would have to attack those elves from forest. And I definitely don't want to do that. Like this, I'm gonna attack from uh, uh, from hills, so it's much better. The 
right now when I'm thinking about it. This will actually be a bit trickier because uh, we have almost full army, so I won't be able to uh, move everyone out of range probably. That's the problem when you have a full army, you just have to uh, take some attacks, you just can't move away from them. Well, hopefully it's gonna work. Oh, and anything else? You repaired the gear, spells. I want to change my spells. Probably not. I'll be using. I will be shooting with the hero anyway, so. Won't have time for casting. He'll keep exploring. I think this is all we can do. This fight could be actually a bit more tricky than the previous ones. Same army, but on our south side, as I said, will be more crowded. Oh, and they have three hills on their side. Really? Well, at least we go first. I'd like to be in range of both these hills if I can. Because those elves build definitely on hills. Uh, if I move with my hero forward, 2, 4, 5, 6, I'll be able to reach both here. 2, 4, 5, 6, I'll be able to reach all of them. So I like this position. Anything else? Hmm. Should probably move uh, my crossbows with the uh, highest range defense forward. What does it look like? 4, 4, uh, all of them are 4 except uh, this one, what's uh, some of them around. <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this guy will be in the range of a unit standing here, so maybe if I move him like this that would help and I can even move this guy away I want to move them away from this, these really exposed tiles 2, 4, 6 would we have to be a range of 7 from this tile if he was here that would be a range of 6 and if uh, there will be elf on both these hills, he would be attacked by both of them probably. So I think this is safer. I don't know if this is safe enough, but this is probably the best I can do. Maybe uh, you have more hit points, so let's move forward. Anyone else with 16 hit points I could move forward? Probably not. Okay, I guess this is the best I can do. And let's see where they are. Start. Oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can I move away from there? Uh, two, four, six. This guy's in range. Oh my god! I need to move this guy away. Can I do it somehow? Because if I leave him here, he's gonna be in range of this elf and the Pegasus. Two, four, six. Can I get him out of there? That's a good question. Well, first I'll move forward with um, with the hero and uh, 
I want to find out if I can um, kill the ranger, I guess it's most dangerous. Ranger with double shot, that's disgusting. And he's in range of 246 of these four units. Because the ranger is the highest priority. He has to die. No! Come on! Don't do this to me! He still has a range attack of 4 and double shot, so he can do still a lot of damage even with one hit point. And every hit point can be important here. This sucks. Really. Okay. Uh, I don't think anyone else can attack. So let's actually try to do something with this guy now. Ah, that's really, really annoying. One hit point. It's like, I don't know, 90% of the time those units end up on one hit point. Is it just me or is it the game doing this to everyone? How can I move them? Something like this. Now... All of them should be out of range of that elf at least. But this is so annoying. I took those uh, stronger arrows to prevent uh, um, to prevent specifically this thing from happening. No, not enough. Well, let's see what gonna, what's gonna happen. Double shot for the hero, that's fine. Oh, really? He's using double shot as well on the hero? Yeah, look at the damage with one hit point. Bam, six damage. Hmm. Okay, next. Um, the Pegasus has to die. Two, three, four. Good. Now, let's do as much damage as possible to the Dryad. And finish the stupid Ranger. We can probably move closer. Move this guy as uh, far as possible. I'm a bit afraid that uh, the fairy could cast haste on the druid. He would move forward and double shot the crossbowman. That would be quite unfortunate. And now, is this a hill? Yeah, it is. So the triad should be able to attack only the hero. Hmm. They're still not safe, but uh, it uh, could be worse. But you can see how much uh, difference that one hit point was. If uh, that uh, ranger died, then uh, I'd be able to kill this elf instead of shooting the ranger again. And, uh, or I'd maybe even uh, try to do something with the, with the druid make it so much easier. Two, four, six, yeah, I'd be wrenched with the uh, druid, so I would kill him. This guy would most likely just uh, attack the hero again. Uh, this really can be sometimes so frustrating. Well, let's go. Good, 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 good. They're going first. Okay. Oh, yeah, it worked. Mm. We are still alive, he doesn't have any stamina. One, two, three. Now this guy is more dangerous, so let's kill him. 
Uh, you will move back. You guys can move forward. Okay. That uh, wasn't nice at all, but he survived. So let's kill this and kill that droid. So we somehow managed to do this without losses, but uh, uh, when we didn't kill that uh, ranger on the first turn, there I w really wasn't sure if it's gonna be possible. But yeah, it worked. So let's see what we're gonna get here. Anything interesting? A level up for you. Um, probably the resistance. You have six uh, bolts only, so get uh, let's get seven. Uh, nothing again. Okay, keep exploring. And um, someone wants uh, my resources. No, I want to get the third tier as fast as possible. And we have another province with uh, population mood problems, so let's solve it with uh, proper guard and the pop. Maybe the sawmill first. Yeah, let's build the sawmill first. And what do we have here? Goblin lands. Goblins in the third ring. Uh, do I want to do that? That's alchemists more than one probably. You somehow managed to do elves without losses, but I think these goblins that would be even harder there. Pull that off without losses, that would probably be almost impossible. Anything interesting here? Oh, giant spiders. That's probably the next thing we're gonna do. And we have chalice of life available. Okay, let's use that to heal some of the damage only this guy is hurt now and the hero is so uh, fine now with 45 points it's okay hmm well I'll have to think if I want to risk uh, uh, to fight these goblins actually. Is there any location? There is one. But I need another uh, another province after I finish this one. Where is it or not? We just healed so that could help. We have the burn ammo that could help as well. Uh, but I will have to think about it a bit more off camera. This part is already long enough. Again, I think it was a decent part. We are able to fight quite a lot. Uh, we have two, well, two more units. So the army is uh, a bit stronger again. As you have seen uh, in the fight with those elves, sometimes the larger army can cause trouble. Because the limited uh, uh, limited movement we have now. But overall, I think we are doing quite well. So let's see how this is what this will continue in the next part. And um, I hope you'll join me for that. And until the next part, have a good time and bye bye.